Here is question number four in my series of unit test paper preparing you for test on quadratic functions. Now also see how beautifully these questions are arranged. We take the learning from the previous and put it into the next and then prepare for the next question to come. So that's the idea of, of taking you through this journey and I hope you're enjoying it. The question here is find equation of parabola from the graph. So we are given a graph here and we need to find equation of parabola. The question write, write a possible equation and state the key characteristics of the parabola in the graph shown below. Right? Now whenever you have a parabola and you have to write equation, the two forms which are very good to work with is one is the vertex form. right? And the other one is the intercept or factored form. So these are the two forms which help you write equation of graph, equation of parabola from the graph. Now in this case, we have very clearly defined intercepts. So we could go for that also. And we have a very clearly defined vertex too. So either way is good enough to write down the equation, correct? So you can adopt any method and write down the equation. So well, let's go with the vertex form for the time being. So vertex is at 2, the value is 8, right? And second thing which you need for the vertex is the step. You can also see if I move one step here, I'm going two steps down, right? And the steps are normally 1, 3, 5, 7. So we'll check for the next one. Is it 6 or not? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. So it matches the steps also. So from here, since we know the vertex is at 2 and 8, and the steps are actually not 1, 3, 5, 7, but multiplied by minus. You're going down, right? Minus 2. And therefore, we can write our equation straight from here. Minus 2 is the a value, and this is my vertex form equation. Normally, vertex form will be a times x minus p whole square plus q. Some of you use value c and d here, but that's okay. And therefore, using these, we can say equation is y equals 2. a is minus 2 for us. x and the vertex is at 2 minus 2 whole square plus 8. Wow. You got the equation without doing any calculation at all. Do you see that beautiful? Isn't it? So I think that is the most beautiful way of writing equation of any curve, which is so good as a parabola. Now that is what you get. If you do factored form, which is a times x minus, which is 0 here, right? And the other value is 4, x minus 4. You need to find what A is. For that, you need some more points. So vertex could be a good point to plug it in, get the value of A, right? So uh, that will require some calculations, right? So this is probably the best way of solving these kinds of questions. I hope you appreciate it. Share with your friends. Thank you, and let's move on to question number five.